Hi ladies. Just wanted to let you know that you are in the right place at the right time. If you're catching this webinar, um, if you're looking for a little more intimate life, if you're looking for a little more relationship help, because those two kind of go together, and if you're just to tell you my story, um, what happened to me and how I got that back after a while because I was missing that thing and I wanted it back. So I'm here to just share my story. Now, some of you right now might be a little bit busy. You might be tired. You might be ready to go to bed and you just happen to, you know, wonder what the heck this woman's talking about her personal sex life is all about. But I'm here to be a little humorous. So this will be short and sweet, but I got some um, tips for you, like five tips that that I personally did myself um, and nothing's been the same since. So I hope you can stay awake for it. I want to ask you this question. Do you remember your honeymoon? I mean, are you still living it? Do you remember if it was great and amazing and those, those pre-marriage uh, pre days and, you know, the first year, second year? Um, is it the same? I mean, it wasn't for me, but I I'm here to tell you that I got a story for you and, and what happened and it's just awesome. So stick with me, ladies. I'm telling you, you're not alone. I've been there for so many years. Um, I felt like a roommate and I didn't have connection. I didn't have any stickiness with my husband. Um, it's like we were just going through the motions and not even realizing what was happening. Like sex wasn't fun anymore. It was like work. It was like a little duty, you know, like something I had to do to make him happy and then he's all happy and then everybody's happy, right? Um, I kind of felt like it was kind of a waste of time. How sad is that to say? But I just didn't, it wasn't getting into it. There was just things not going on. And I was like, um, I could be folding laundry right now um, or something. Uh, I'm just going to fake it till I make it, right? Because some women do that. I'm telling you. Um, and of course... How much do you communicate this with your husband? Because they're men. Are they really going to go, oh, I'm sorry you're feeling that way? You know, because most men don't have a lot of touchy feelies and they're not into you really emotionally. Most men, not saying all. But I'm saying, you know, have you ever felt this way? I'm just saying. So if you guys want to get that feeling back, you know, people want it. And you guys, this, this separation of that happens over time, like slowly growing apart because we all have things to do like work. Um, all those years of working 40 to 50 hours a week, you guys, can take a toll on a marriage. It really does. And then throw in three kids, throw in some laundry, throw in some grocery shopping, cooking. Don't you got to feed, feed everybody? So you got this woman's got all this going on in her brain, 20 different departments at the same time. You know, then you throw in a dog, a stinky dog that needs attention. Sometimes the dog sleeps between you. And then what do you got? You got a threesome in there, I'm telling you. It's not very fun. Been there. So um, you want those warm, fuzzy feelings back, you guys? I'm telling you, everyone wants those. So uh, some days I got more fulfillment out of days of our lives than I did in my own marriage. I'm telling you. So right now, I've been married almost 30 years, all right? And, you know, it wasn't perfect. You know, I, I kind of compare it to Guns N' Roses, right? just got your ups and downs and, and the grass isn't always green around the other side, but I thought about it, right? And I think this is where most people just say, I, I don't want any more of that. You know, some people, I'm trying to help people from that are like this, go, go right to here a little bit like this when it comes to intimacy, because it can make a huge difference in your relationship, huge, not just the sex part and that piece, but it bleeds into your your day to day stuff, and just life is so different. So I'm gonna share with you five things, just topics and tips, and um, some stuff I did and took that changed my game up. That's all I'm here for. So here we go, you guys. The first thing I had to do was figure out why I had no sex drive. I mean, who takes time for that? We're a woman. We're, we got things to do. We're busy. You know, are you simply stressed out? Is it stress? Maybe you had a high stress job. Maybe you got 15 things going on. You know, what is it? Identify that first, okay? Maybe you're mad at your husband because he's not meeting your needs. Well, identify that, you know, and think of something to talk about and, and communicate that because most people don't do it or they don't take the time. So put this on your calendar because it's really important. It could be your whole marriage. That could be writing on a few small things that you can do to make big things better. It's communicating. Put a little, little, get a little calendar out and block it in. Uh, my, my, my marriage and these topics are important to me. Okay. Just saying. 
Um, or when's the last time you had your hormones checked? You guys, women, right? As we age, they just leave our body. How do we get them back in? What are we using and putting in to, to make those things balanced so we can get to where we were not too long ago or 10, 20, 30 years ago? Because it just makes sense, right? So it's the key. You guys take a little time to figure this out and make that appointment. Maybe you're on a pile of medications like I was. I was a 10 pill pop every day and I wondered why things weren't happening down there, right? What's the number one side effect of, of medications? is libido and why is that the first to go because that's the funnest piece of our bodies i think there is that god gave us right it just is amazing so why is that to go but i'm telling you one day i lost the magic okay i lost it and for four months and and it was like devastating i i i couldn't have an orgasm for four months and when i tried it was like oh my gosh this is so much work I don't think I can do it. It's just like, oh, no, I got some laundry to do. I, I just, it just wasn't there, right? And maybe that's you. Maybe I'm talking to you. So I'm telling you, balancing your hormones could be the key. So make sure you check that out. The second tip uh, I stumbled across um, was a video, and this is all over YouTube. You're going to figure out how to get there. It's men versus women's brain video. Okay, it's absolutely hysterical, but it's the truth. Once you figure this out, you guys, you can actually learn that it's maybe you're not, it's, it's maybe not even your husband's fault the way he is. Okay. It's, it's his brain. He, he has, he can't control some of that stuff in his brain. It's kind of like, you want to feel a little sorry for him because their brains are completely different than our brains. Their brains are compartmentalized. They like live in little boxes, right? They're only in one at one time. You know, you want to talk about six different things. They don't, they don't get it. They got one thing in the brain. They're like, I want sex and I want to get it over with fast. I got things to do. They're in and out. That's just what they do. All right. Well, once you understand that, you can kind of go, oh, I can't help the way you are. And here's how I am. But you got to come to some common ground. And, and I got some more tips coming up here. So hang tight. So you kind of got to, you know, they think differently than we do. Huge. So maybe if you start liking your husband again a little bit, just knowing that one thing, you know, you guys, sex will get just a little bit better, right? Because I'm talking about me here. How about communication? Number three, if you're writing these down, number three, what do you want? Why are we afraid to tell our husbands what they want? We know what they want, right? They got one thing, one tool, one thing ready to go. Bam, they're like um, buffalo. They just in and out fast and they're just, they're simple. But, but why, why are we feeling so bad that they might have to take a little more time with us? Because that's how our brains work. You know, they need to listen to that video, okay? Truth. Because we need a little more time in the bedroom. We need to decompress. We need some things to relax us. And we need some things to, um, you know, get us in the mood. We just can't jump and flip a switch and all of a sudden now we're turned on, ready to go. That, that's not how we work. Now, maybe some of you do, but you're on this video for a reason, right? That wasn't me. I need some time, guys, but I'm busy. I'd rather just get there... Um, a better way. So maybe you tell them how you like it. Where does it feel the best? Do you want it longer? Do you want it harder? Uh, get those battery packs out, ladies. All right. There's nothing wrong with batteries, right? You go to Amazon. They're all over. I mean, get some help. I mean, speed up the process if you need to do that. But, you know, and those doctors, you know, they're getting richer seeing those ladies in their 50s with arthritis in their hands. Why, why go there? Why not get some batteries? I'm telling you, we all know why they got arthritis, right? That's just what happens when you're in your 50s. Things just don't work the same. So go for it, guys. It's kind of fun. Makes life a little interesting. And your husband likes it. Are you kidding? Bonus. Um, so I'm telling you, it's huge. So another thing, get out of that robot style position that you've been doing for years and try something new. I mean, don't assume he has all the answers. You guys, there's plenty of resources out there that you can look through together. And, you know, but maybe you're like, wait, Stacy, you don't understand. I'm so insecure about my body. Um, and this inhibits me from my intimate life. You know, I had four kids and my, my body's just not the same. And, you know, I got a few more wrinkles and a few more uh, curves. And my, I got, I'm up a pant size and, you know, I'm just not the same. 
Well, I can tell you this. If you got a good man, they're not going to care because that's why they married you. All right. Um, they married you for who you are in the inside and their penis happens to be attached to their outside. And guess what? That thing don't care what you look like because that just wants to get in and out and fast and he can't even see you. So get over that girls. It, it's not worth it. You know, we got self-development, self-help books for all that stuff, but you guys, he married you. And if that's not the case and, and he is all worried about that on you, find another guy. Cause that's just dumb. That's just, that's just ridiculous. Right? So go for that. <sighs> Number four, did your husband or yourself come with a guide when you got married? Like, uh, did you know what, uh, love language he is, you know, because there is five of them. There's five love languages that each of us have. All right. Now I'm telling you, this was another game changer in my marriage. Um, I had to have someone refer this book to me and thank God I did because it really did help. But here's the deal. Our, 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 is your love language, um, touch? Are you a touchy person? Okay. I am. Um, or is it words? Do you need words? Do words make you feel good? Is that your trigger? Something nice is when someone says something nice to you. I mean, yeah, it makes us all feel good, but it's not for everybody. Okay. That's number two. The third, um, love language is gifts. Maybe you love rings and jewelry and romance and that turns you on when you get a bouquet of flowers or you get a little gift on the bed or you get a card, you get something tangible. Maybe that's your love language, right? It's not mine. Um, maybe it's quality time. Maybe, maybe you just need that time to, um, sit with your husband or go somewhere together, hold hand, do something together, quality time, whether you bowl, whether you go to book clubs, whatever that you travel time together. Okay. That's not mine. Um, maybe it's acts of service. Maybe it's that little dish of uh, soup you made to him for dinner, or maybe it's that um, he needed a Kleenex quick and you gave him that Kleenex. Or maybe you um, helped him out in the garage for a second and, and you did an act of service that um, he appreciated. All right. That's, that's not my gift. But guess what? It's my husband's gift. He only has one. That's his love language is acts of service. Mine is words and touch. And I can have two. I can because I deserve to, right? So finding out where you're at with love languages Oh my gosh, huge difference. Guess what he does now? I get a little touch now and then. And he, and he texts me some nice things because we read the book. Highly recommend this book to everybody on this webinar. Got to get it. It's amazing. Five love languages. I had my husband read it. All right. I didn't think he'd read it, but he did. I'm just saying life can be different. And I'm on this call to maybe make a small little change in your intimate life or your married life relationships, whatever that looks like for you, because they do go hand in hand. All right, things are so different now, you guys. Then, you guys, I found the Lucy Libido book. Um, now, isn't this something? Because this has tons of recipes in it. So, so libido was your issue? If you're looking for some things, I highlighted some here because it's my favorite. Need a little more joy in the sheets? Who doesn't? Maybe um, you need a golden rod to stay a golden rod, right? Need we say more? This book has incredible recipes on how to enhance your intimate life naturally. All right? So you get the love languages down. Bingo. Then you get some little, you know, natural stuff going down and things just change. God, life is like a, like I'm a high schooler or teenager. It's like I got energy. It's just really weird. So that was number four. Number five is what really ultimately changed my game up. Okay? Seriously, um, I found some supplements that actually worked and I was the biggest skeptic on supplements because I thought they were a waste of money. Could never see a result after I took it. I was never into natural health whatsoever. I knew nothing. I didn't know what, um, you know, spinach was versus iceberg lettuce. I just ate what I wanted, drank what I wanted. I was a completely different person. But... Some of these products changed my daughter's life in this, such a short time that I started f thinking about myself. I'm like, well, if she can do it, why can't I? I got libido issues. I got things going on. So I, I opened up uh, a guide and found one for libido. And I tried it. And let me just tell you, 
um, it was one product. I started with that. And my roommate status that I had, because that's how I felt, I felt like a roommate for, for quite a while. And in about four weeks, I went from, you know what, honey, not tonight. I just not there, just not there. It's not feeling it. It's not, not feeling any feelings because it just wasn't to, um, oh, honey, what time are you going to be home tonight? Let me see. What time are the kids going to be home? Okay, honey, uh, um, it's, it's noon. What are you, where are you at? Self-employed, you know, it's an awesome thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, need some lunch. Okay. Nooner. Okay, great. Sounds great. You guys, it went that. And guess what else? The best part about it is that um, something that took me an hour to accomplish, like the big O, like that whole, you know, dreaded thing, like you got to think so hard and it's like, oh my gosh, can I just get there because I got things to do and it's now it's work and I don't like it, went down to five minutes. And you can ask my neighbor, who's hard of hearing next door, who was, we moved, and I swore I woke him up because that hour long um, thing is down to five minutes. And let me tell you, I let everybody know that day. And I guess what? It's been five minutes ever since, you know, maybe 10. Sometimes I like to prolong it a little bit just because it's amazing now. Things are different. Okay. One product. Well then I'm like, how can I keep this up? So I started incorporating a couple other products and lo and behold, I, I started losing half my body weight. So I, I, I'm half the person I was when I, before I started this. That ain't no joke. That ain't no salesy thing. That's just what happened. And I started researching and learning about how important natural products are to balance your body no matter where you're at. So it went from once a month to once a week to twice a week. I mean, it's daily. It can be more than a time, more than once in a day. Just being honest here. This is a real, real video. I'm a real person. Um, it's incre It's just crazy. So rocks our status rocks our status and we kind of like each other now like we kind of joke and play and we're, we're playful and fun about things and it's just so different so it's amazing how con connecting like this can make it enjoyable for both people all right for both parties involved now i'm just talking about the ladies here all right um in, in a natural way right what's wrong with natural things work the way they're supposed to work when you're doing natural things all right no side effects. You guys, half the reasons why we can't get there is because of side effects. So Young Living's been around 23 years and they've got great products, seed to seal. And I know most of you don't care about stuff like that. You just want to get to that smoking after sex feeling right away um, because that's how I felt. You know what it's like? I never smoked a cigarette in my life. Well, maybe when I was a kid, I tried it. But I understand why people smoke after sex because it can be that good. Why don't you want that back? Or maybe you never had it. Maybe you're on this video because you just wanted to try something new. So anyway, guys, um, when the trailer's rocking, don't come a-knocking. That's how I look at life. So I don't want to be this cheesy salesy webinar, webinar like, you know, the other ones. I'm just this normal person um, and wanted my sex life back. And I found some great stuff, no side effects. Um, so I put together... These four things, I, mean, I already gave you what books you need to order. You get these on Amazon, right? Whatever. But I, I've got four products that I think might be really easy for you to try. Um, it's $185, and I'll put the link um, in this video if you choose to purchase that. It goes right to PayPal. But the best part, and this is the most important part, if you stuck with me this long, rock on, sister. But this four-pack has um, three oils and a supplement in it. And I, and the best part is I show you how to use that. So if you go and purchase this from me, you know, I'm going to tell you how to use each one and when to use it. And we got a personal relationship to discuss what, what's going to work for you because you know, where do you get that at the clinics or at the pharmacies? Does anybody really call you and say, Hey Stace, how's your libido working? Are you rocking that thing? Are those working? Do you need to take more? Should you do less? Um, how long are they lasting? And some of these products can last, you know, the, the bottle of oil can last up to 300, 300 applications. So it's it's not like, you know, it's it's one and done. This is over time and some people works, you know, within a few weeks, some people a day, some people a couple months. I don't know what your body's like. These are natural products. But I can tell you that we'll have a relationship and I will be able to help you um, when it comes to using those products that you got. So click that PayPal button, try your stuff today, and you know, change up your game, guys, because life's kind of short. 
you get that thing back going, you, you, you just feel better. And studies show that women that have more sex just feel better. There are studies out there that what semen does to our body. It's really crazy. Um, but it does work. So um, if you're looking to find more of these videos, more of these trainings, um, just follow me on stacyteagues.com. And I hope to meet some of you guys soon. So you guys have a great day.